Select the appropriate size secure cath to match the catheter diameter. The secure cath has been designed to work with both straight shaft and reverse tapered catheters. Place the catheter according to protocol, leaving 3 cm of catheter external to the insertion site. The secure cath requires 3 cm of catheter shaft to attach to the catheter. Lift the catheter to visualize the insertion site. Keep the stylet or wire in the catheter because it will make the catheter firmer, which will help when stretching the skin opening. Use the tip of a dilator to temporarily dilate the skin opening if necessary to allow easier insertion. Fold the secure cath base until the feet come together. Apply traction to the skin to help dilate the insertion site. Hold the folded base at an angle, aiming the tips of the feet at the insertion site. Insert the feet into the insertion site and advance a few millimeters into the subcutaneous tissue. Turn the secure cath to the desired indwelling orientation. Release the secure cath base, allowing it to fully open until flat. The base should lie on stable tissue and away from areas of flexion such as joints. If you wish to change the orientation of the secure cath base, fold the wings downward, turn the folded base to the desired orientation, then release the base to allow the feet to open. Gently retract the base to be sure there is some subcutaneous tissue between the securement feet and the dermis. Use sterile gauze to remove blood, ultrasound gel, or other fluids from the catheter and the insertion site. Align the catheter with the groove in the base, making sure the catheter shaft and secure cath base are dry. The back end of the secure cath should not be placed beyond the zero mark on the catheter or closer than one centimeter from catheter hub. Press the catheter into the groove. Place the cover on the base by pressing firmly on the center and then on the edges of the cover while holding the base to affix the secure cath to the catheter shaft. Visually inspect the edges of the secure cath to make sure the cover is fully engaged with the base. You should not be able to see gaps along the edges of the secure cath. Dress the catheter site per your institute's protocol. Let the site dry completely before applying any dressing. The secure cath works with all dressings and or antimicrobial discs. Do not apply the transparent dressing too tightly. Do not turn or twist the secure cath from its original position. Be sure to cover the insertion site, the secure cath, and any external portion of the catheter up to the extension tubes with the transparent dressing. This will prevent pulling or kinking of the catheter. If catheter adjustment is necessary, simply remove the secure cath cover, pull the catheter back, Make sure the catheter and secure cath are clean and dry, and then replace the secure cath cover. Redress per hospital protocol. Be sure to cover the insertion site, the secure cath, and any external portion of the catheter up to the extension tubes with the transparent dressing. This will prevent pulling or kinking of the catheter.